Hi, my name is Sol and I'm from Pangolin Photo Safaris and today I would like to talk to you about my 10 tips that might just help you or improve your wildlife photography. Okay, so my tip number one is know your gear. So maybe get comfortable with your camera before you go out in the field. Know where the buttons is. Get familiar with the buttons. So when you look through your camera and a situation appears that you know at least where what button to press, that you don't look at your camera and wonder, wonder what must I do now. So be comfortable. Maybe want to move your focus point that you know where I can move my focus point. I don't need to take the picture all the time in the middle. Now where you can change your shutter speed or your aperture. Um, where you have to change your ISO. Um, if you're not comfortable with full manual yet, maybe understand how um, one of the auto exposure modes is working. Um, if you're maybe more comfortable on aperture priority, know when to use what aperture or how low your aperture can go according to the lens you have. Uh, maybe also understand or try to, f to work out on your camera on lens what is the minimum shutter speed you can go and still have a reasonable sharp image. You also have ISO on your camera so see how high or how far you can push your camera in um, certain situations. You might come in a situation where you have very little light and then you know how high you can push your um, ISO and still have a reasonable um, image. Okay, so tip number two is know your location and animal behavior. I think it's very important to do some research where the location that you're interested to go to make sure the time of year when it's a dry season or when it's a wet season maybe. Sometimes of the year also you have different um, animals, you have different birds, birds migrate, um, so I think it's very important to do some research. If you for example a bird photographer, make sure that the bird that maybe that you're interested to make sure that the location that you're aiming to go that the bird is in this time of year there. Birds are nesting certain time of year of course, so make sure if you're interested in this bird as well that you are there by the time they're nesting, be there by the time where they may be hatching, um, you can get really cool bird behavior. Maybe they bring food for the um, chicks, so it could be a really cool um, photos. Okay, so my tip number three is light. I think light is so important. So how to work with light? Very early out in the mornings, get up early, be out there before the sun even comes up, and the same in the afternoon, just before the sun goes down, be out there, it's really beautiful light. We call it, in photography terms, we call it the golden hour. So be out there, this will already make a big difference in your photography. If you maybe have an overcast day, you can shoot of course longer during the day, the light will be also nicely diffused. So tip number four is shooting close but wide as well. We intend sometimes to zoom in the whole time on our subjects. We're getting nice portraits, close-ups, maybe details, but don't forget to also to shoot wide. Zoom maybe out a little bit. If you have a wide angle, use it. Get the trees in the background, the mountains, um, where the animals walking in the environment, and that will just give you as well a different type of photo. My tip number five is work on your angle. Don't be afraid to go down as low as you can. Go down on your knees or even lie down flat on your stomach. This will help you to create that nice out of focus background and make your image or your, your, your animal pop a little bit more from your background. Being on eye level with your subject will create a more personal feel to your image. So go down as much as you can. If you like our content, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button to be notified for the next video. My tip number six is focus on the eyes. Eyes are often the first thing that we notice when we're looking at the animal. So look closely to the eye and focus on the eye. When you have the eye sharp, the overall image will feel sharp, even if you work with a shallow depth of field. So my tip number seven is taking advantage of digital photography. Don't be shy to take as many as photos as need to be. Put your camera on continuous shooting and shoot burst shooting. It could be the difference between getting this shot or missing the shot. So don't be shy and shoot as many as you can.
in the back of your digital camera you have a LCD screen where you can view your images have a look at them see if something is wrong maybe it's too dark it's too bright and where you can easily quickly adjust before you keep on shooting so my tip number eight is be prepared to wait have patience patience is the name of the game in wildlife photography there's nothing more rewarding when you sit at the sighting waiting for a long time and the an animal get up and walking towards your camera or a bird flying over a branch with the wings nicely open towards you and you get a beautiful wingspan. So don't be afraid to sit by a sighting and wait. This might take time. Tip number nine, composition. Center is boring. Don't always put your subject in the middle of your frame. Use the rules of thirds. Move your subject to the left of your frame if it looks to the right. Move your focus point to the right when your subject looks to the left. Move your horizon to the bottom or to the top. Don't always put your subject in the middle. Follow this tip and this will create a more interesting image for you. My tip number 10 is aim for simple backgrounds. Sometimes the most dramatic wildlife photos are sometimes with simple backgrounds. Photos of a busy background on the other hand will result in your subject to getting lost in the frame. The goal is to highlight your subject to make them stand out from a blank or empty background behind the animal. Sometimes you just need to move or shift your position left or right to create a more favorable scene. So this is my 10 tips for you so I hope it helped you. Please leave your comments down below and thank you for watching.